Hey reader friends, the title of this book is Tacky the Penguin by Helen Lester, illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. The publisher of this book is Houghton Mifflin Harcourt in Boston, and this book was copyrighted in 1988. <clears throat> there once lived a penguin. His home was a nice, icy land he shared with his companions. His companions were named Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, and Perfect. His name was Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird. Every day, Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, and Perfect greeted each other very quietly and politely. Hello, good morning, how are you? Oh, don't you look nice? Tacky greeted them with a hearty slap on the back and a loud, hey, what's happening? Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect, always marched. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Tacky always marched. One, two, three, four, two, three, six, zero, two and a half, zero, ouch. Oh. His companions were very graceful divers. Whoosh, splash. Whoosh, splash. Tacky liked to do splashy cannonballs. Cowabunga, dude! Splash! Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect, always sang pretty songs like Sunrise on the Iceberg. Sunrise on the Iceberg, Sunrise on the Iceberg, The sun is on the iceberg, it's rising to Day. Tacky always sang songs too. He sang songs like, um, oh, how many toes does a fish have? How many toes does a fish have? Yeah, Tacky was an odd bird. One day, the penguins heard the thump, thump, thump of feet in the distance. <gasps> This could only mean one thing. Hunters had come to the island. They came with maps and traps and rocks and locks and they were rough and tough. And as the thump, thump, thump drew closer, <gasps> the penguins could hear the growly voices chanting. We're gonna catch some pretty penguins. We're gonna march them with a switch. We're gonna sell them for a dollar and get rich, rich, rich. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect, ran away in fright. And they hid behind a block of ice. Tacky stood alone. The hunters marched right up to him, chanting, We're gonna catch some pretty penguins and we'll march them with a switch. We're gonna sell them for a dollar and get rich, rich, rich. Hey, what's happening? blared Tacky, giving one hunter an especially hearty slap on the back. The hunters growled. We're hunting for penguins. That's what's happening. <laughs> penguins, said Tacky. Do you mean those birds that march around neatly in rows? And then he marched. One, two, three, four, two, three, six, zero, two and a half, zero, ouch. Huh? The hunters looked puzzled. That isn't what 
penguins look like. Hmm. Penguins, huh? Said Tacky again. Do you mean those birds that dive off the iceberg so gracefully? And then he did one of his splashy cannonballs. Cowabunga, dudes! Splash! Whoa. The hunters looked wet. Hmm, penguins, let's see here. Penguins, uh, do you mean those birds that sing such pretty songs? And then Tacky began to sing. And quickly from behind the block of ice came the voices of his companions, all singing as loudly and dreadfully as they could. Oh, how many toes does a fish have? How many wings on a cow? I wonder if I wonder. The hunters could not believe their ears. The hunters could not stand the horrible singing. They must have made a mistake. This could not be the land of the pretty penguins. They ran away with their hands clasped tightly over their ears, leaving behind their maps and traps and rocks and locks and, well, not looking at all rough and tough. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect, hugged Tacky. Whew, that was close. Tacky was an odd bird, but he sure was a nice friend to have around. The end. Good job, Tacky. You saved yourself and all your friends. <laughs>